Somebody keeps coming through my door, you know, like, you know, either it's Natsu, uh, Jack Frost, which Jack Frost was, was he's okay, he's a okay dude, um, and mainly Natsu and Fire Fist 6, I want to make sure they're not coming through, but anyway, back to the video, uh, we're going to be reacting today, it's actually a request, that's right, it's a request from one of the people who followed and subscribed to my channel, um, it is also, it is called, can possible expose Mr. Berlizzi. Yeah, that's right. And, I think we're actually clear. And, not to only mention, if you guys have not already checked out my Patreon, and a lot. Alright. I had enough. We've been through this before, dude. I really need to change my locks. Even though I just melted the last locks, you know I can get through that stuff. When am I going to get another chance to get on your channel, dude? Because, dude, you keep coming into my, my studio, my YouTube studio, and acting like you don't even care. Dude. I thought we already went over this. It's my YouTube channel. If you want your own YouTube channel, get your own. Look, your fans love me. They love Fire Fist Ace. They also love Jack Frost. He came in one time and you didn't get ticked off. Yeah, when I come in, you didn't ticked off. I just want to know why. Why can't Dude, I get on your show again? I. You know what? How is it bogus? You know what? We're not even going to fight over this. You understand? Because you know why? Do you know why? Because I'm not going to let you try to tick me off. Today has been a good day. You're not going to tick me off any further. You understand? Oh, big deal. You can hold fire in your hands. Guess what? So does Houdini. So does Harry Potter. So does every other character made in every other movies. And this is not really a special anymore, dude. You gotta try something better than that. Case, go ahead by all means dude but the next video guys I will that's what I and I won't involve any other people barging into my door all right let's go ahead and Clock. Switch, dude. finally some results come on dude get out the chair <laughs> what's up YouTube viewers it's your dude not Sue Dragneo now enough of the dilly dally enough of all that stuff sorry what happened let's go on into the video hey, what, what, what video are you reacting to Kim Kim possible exposed okay Okay, well, let's go ahead and get on to it, guys, without further delay. And we're starting right now. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another installment of Exposed. It is your host, put the rose on this job. Early in the scene. Yo, let's get straight into it. Dude's just as crazy as I am. Yeah. Announcements. Your boy beat a week long flu. Sorry that I kept y'all waiting. I'm back and I'm feeling better than ever. I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> Yo! Are you ready? Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go, dude. Dude. 
Oh, what is that on her lip? But look. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh. Please don't say anything bad about Shigo. She's hot. Who would always sit on the fine 
Jesus in high school? How the f*** did they get away with that? Some of these principals need to crack down on these perverts. Real talk. They do. Yo, what is she go doing right now? This is exactly what I say with Mrs. Proud. What's she doing? Sleeping? Are you asleep? <laughs> That's gonna, that's gonna ruin a lot of fetishes for everybody, every dude who loves Kim Possible. She's a. She is a high school student. I just saw Rufus. <laughs> oh man. Uh. Oh, that that was actually funny. That was. She gonna make you prego. Which, by the way, if you guys have not noticed, prego is actually a tiny word for you're welcome. So, basically, she's going to say thank you and he's going to give her your welcome. <laughs> oh, snap. But by the way, that mustache thing, it really does look like a mustache. I never thought of it that way. I really never did. And look close enough, that bottom lip thing, it makes it look like she's smiling. I never thought of it that way. I, re I really never thought of it that way. Oh, man. Oh, well that, that, I bet that ruined a bunch of fetishes for a bunch of dudes out there who love Kim Possible. But other than that, that was as funny as that. Somebody said this. Head of me as Dragon told me about this too. And it was some dude, I'm not going to say your name, but I do remember hearing somebody, some dude said this. That if you look close enough that when um, Shigo was chasing Kim through the, um, through, what's it, Bueno Naco? Bueno Taco? And she was hopping around and she did a front foot towards the camera. Somebody said, if you slow down, I don't know who sent, I, know, I mean, I know who sent the text, but I'm not going to say his name. I'm not going to say his name. But if you slow down, you can actually see up under her skirt. That's what he said. Like, when she flips forward towards the camera, you can look up under her skirt and see what kind of pants she had on. I'm like, you pervert. Dude, she's a high school student. Why would you? But he is a cartoon character. I mean, he don't mind. But I'm not, not pedophile or anything. So, not a pedophile, I'm not going to say his name. He's not a pedophile, he just want to point that out. But anyway, that was a great video, guys. If you hope you enjoyed, if you do, please subscribe to my dude, Hit Miss Dragon. Hit that like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Share with your next door neighbor's friends, and we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Also, support me on my Patreon. Become a patron down in the description below. Go ahead and do that right now.